Good afternoon and welcome to today's maths video which is all about a maths game called the game of pig which we hope you really really enjoy it's a great game for all the family to play so here are the rules so it's a game for two to six players you'll need a dice a piece of paper and a pencil and it's really good if the younger ones can record the scores on the paper using pencil because it's great to help them practice their number formation and recognize in different numbers so let's have a look at the rules of the game so lots and lots of variations in this game you can play a really simple game which we'll look at and then you can make the game much much harder and different ways but the principle of the game is the same so to start with you roll the dice to see who goes first the highest wins but if in your family you've got a different way of deciding who goes first in dice games please use that once you've decided who goes first then player one rolls the dice if they roll a one unfortunately they have to stop but if they roll a two to a six, they add the score they get on each dice roll. So uh, keep going. But if you get a one, you do have to go back to zero unless you choose to stop at any point. So you've got to avoid ones. That's the really important thing. So here's an example. If I roll a three, then a four, then a two, I need to do the calculation three, add four, add two, which is equal to nine. I then decide to stop because I don't want to risk getting a one and the next player can start their go. I keep those nine and start my next go on nine. However, if on my next go I roll in one, I then just go back to nine. So I kind of bank that score on my previous go. Uh, the winner is the first player to 20, to 50 or to 100. It depends how long you want to play for. So let's have a go at a game. I've got a dice up here. I'm gonna roll my dice, see what score I get. I get a four first. So I'm gonna put the four in, roll again and see what I get. I get a six, a great one for a number bond there, number bond 10, which is 10, 10. so I'm going to stop there. I don't want to risk losing it. Player two can start their go, so I keep those 10. They roll a four first, and the next roll is a one. But so unfortunately, because they've rolled a one, it means they lose their four, so they don't get to keep that. That gets deleted. Player three can then start their go, I start off with a six, which is a good throw. I then roll again and score another six. So six at six is 12. And then they roll a third time, which is six. And they decide to stop. So six at six at six is 18. Okay, so there's their roll. And the game goes on until someone gets to 20, to 100, or to 50, or to whatever number you want to play to. So let's have a look at how to make the game harder. You can use two dice, add that score together to get to 100. A double one means you go back to your last score. A one on either dice means stop your go. You could use two dice and multiply together to get to 200. Again, a double one, go back to your last score. A one on either dice means stop your go. You could use one dice, but multiply that by two, five or 10, or any other number to practice a times table that you want to do. So you could multiply by seven or 12 or nine or whatever you want to practice and go to 200. You could use a 12 sided dice if you have one at home, or you can make a dice and put different numbers on. You could start at 20, 50 and, or 100 and flip the game round and do some subtraction, a bit like darts, you count it down and the winner is the first person to zero. So enjoy playing the game, good luck, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.